What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Back like we never left. Kicking it on the couch where you know we always catch a vibe. Oh, hey, no, you catching the vibe. I'm just saying. Go ahead and get in your zone. Go ahead and catch excited, a vibe. Okay? You know what I mean? Yeah, we back. Yeah, we back. Back with two more episodes of The Sopranos. Hey, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to jump right into it yeah. and get to it. It's been a couple of days since we checked out The Sopranos. It has been. But what better time than right now? Then I'm stoked. To, to get back into it. I'm ready. Yeah. Sopranos is getting good, though. Like, it is, it is. It usually kind of wait to like, <laughs> mid-season for it starts, like, really kind of taking off, like, with some juicy stuff. But I feel like we got left with some juicy stuff, and then it started out juicy, you know? Mm -hmm. So... So now I'm just like, we on the last two seasons of, of The Sopranos. I feel like now they about to really start serving us some heat. Yeah. Now, like, and, and every a lot, episode. And, and a lot of things have just changed, like, kind of drastically, too. Mm -hmm. Just over the last couple of episodes. I didn't even think that we would be here as far as San Tony and Carmella not together again. But I, but I guess you could, you could, you could see it coming. In, in a sense. Yeah. But it, it is still kind of different, kind of seeing how they interacting with each other right now. Every time that they broken up and stuff and, he, and they kind of bring it up, I just be like, oh, yeah, you're not together. Yeah, I know. I know. So it, ma it makes me just a little salty, but it's Tony's fault. Yeah, it's Tony's so, fault. So it's it, all Tony's fault. So it definitely is what it is. Hey, but that was part of the deal. <laughs> That's what he said. You, yeah, you, you, knew, you, you know you, what you got. Yeah, yeah. You it know. was part of the deal when you married me. Yeah. No, I wait. I didn't sign up for that. She, okay, she said I digress. Right, the deal. You what know? deal? Yeah. And other than that, <laughs> uh, but main main thing though, we appreciate y'all for just tapping in, pulling up, going on this journey with us. Yeah. Dropping those comments, letting us know what's going on with the Sopranos, how they made you feel, what you thought about our last reaction. So we just appreciate you guys for touching down. And, uh, and holding us down and doing us a solid. Yeah, y'all. So, let's go ahead and tap in, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any mm -hmm. videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos as well as our behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon yeah. polls, and access to all of our TV series, y'all, including this one. So, make sure y'all tap in. It's a great time over there. And shoot, you ready? I'm ready. They have the crazy horse. <clears throat> Chad. Hey. What are you doing here? I got an offer here. Hi. Have fun, huh? Just think about how, how how weird and awkward that would be. I know. Running, running into, into your, your dad. Daughter, right? Or your, yeah, or your daughter. Daughter or running into your dad, whichever one you want to put it. I'm sorry, Tom. Hey, Tom. Vito and Gene just called. They're five minutes away. Did I just see your father? He's got an office here. The guy sure can't put in the hours. Oh, he's putting in the hours. He's putting in the work. Tony's spending so much time at the club. You think that might have something to do with you? You think I'm going to blow this guy for your sick purposes? You are sadly mistaken. So go on about this phone call the other night. It's just some guy with a southern accent. Said he'd see him down there. Did you check the log on himself? Not since I almost got caught doing that, and I am not doing it again. Wait till he goes into the shower. And memorize any other numbers you don't recognize. Oof. I gotta go to the bathroom. I know, you said. Oh, I, I, I gotta go. Oh my god. You know, when you're doing a lot of telling <laughs> and snitching, it, it does mess up your digestive system a little bit. <laughs> Makes you feel like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get this down to the lab, see what's what. You think you got it all? We hope so. I'll let you know when the results come back. What do you do? I don't know. This is getting so I'm afraid to be away from the toilet. How's your personal life? Sometimes GI disturbances are stress related. Is there anything unusual that might be giving you the gym jams? Oh, yeah, there's uh, definitely something unusual. Yeah. I hear you're spending time with today's youth. You lost me. Meadow said she saw you at Adriana's club. I can explain my business to you now? Well, it's your life, Tony. Got that right. What'd you do to your head? Did you fall again? I ended on the medicine chest. Don't worry about it. Here's your allowance. <laughs> but it actually looks like fruit. Oh, 
<laughs> uh-uh. Ew. Irritable bowel syndrome? He'll know more when the tests come back. I gotta know every detail? I could be really sick, Christopher. And my Aunt Josephine had colon cancer. A whole asshole rotted out. I may have to go into therapy. To diarrhea? <clears throat> to help me cope and handle stress. What do you gotta be stressed about? Middle East. You don't listen to the president? We're gonna mop the floor with the whole fucking world. The whole world's gonna be under our control. So what are you worked up about? Get my day planner. Maybe you said you went to the doctor. I'm having trouble with my stomach. Irritable bowel syndrome. My mother had that all her life. See this? What happened? It's cancer. What? Why well, they think they got it all? Knock wood. <sighs> Just cancer. The things that go through your head. You know? mm. All right, so don't say anything to anybody. Okay? Mm. You don't tell anybody what I told you. All right, take care of yourself. Her IBS is caused by the FBI. <laughs> right. What? I twist my arm. When did Tony start doing that? Probably since he left the house. You know, when I first met you, I was scared of you. Well, you're not scared of me now, are you? No. Do we want to shoot? No, 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 no. Uh-oh. No. 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 You better not. You better not. Hey, come on in. Let me know if you guys need anything. Yeah, our friend sent this for you. Uh, that's why I was I'm like, you bet not. <laughs> oh, man. You see me? No. Drugs to make you do some crazy things. No. Uh-oh. Yeah, he was not using his thinking cap with that. <laughs> Don't seem happy to be back. <clears throat> The fact I like Dr. Malfi just sits there like, okay, talk. <laughs> Thank you for taking the appointment. And, and I deeply regret what I did. My nephew's fiance. I <laughs> well, nothing happened, but it could have very easily. Why? This is a very big step. You've come here to talk about this impulse instead of just acting on it without thinking. I always think. Really? I don't know if he was thinking. My nephew, it would kill him if the years of grooming him to be my number two. That'd be very bad for the girl. She doesn't deserve that. He can't get that thought out of his mind. It's like treason. <laughs> Basically. Look, what am I going to do? I, I got lucky the first time because I was able to control myself, but you only get one of those. I can't control myself. You can. It's different for women. It's all about up here with them. You're at a very important crossroads. For once, you want to avoid doing something you know is wrong. Sure. That's growth. Just tell me what I'm supposed to do. But if you can't keep it in your pants, you have to stay away from her. Take her advice. Stay away. Right. I'm getting this vibe from him. Tony? He's really nice. He listens. Jesus Christ, she's a good-looking woman, and she wants to fuck Barney Rubble? We really don't know him. He listens. <laughs> Man, they just, they just using her. They squeezing her like a lemon. Literally. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, I'm all right. What I could really use is some... <laughs> nah, y'all don't need to do that together. Know? Took them all out. I know a guy, Andre, he's always up. I'll give you a ride. What is going on? Oh, uh, You know who you ought to introduce me to is that friend of yours. The one you brought over to the house that time. Danielle from Wimpany. Oh, she's dead. What? Yeah, she, she drowned on a picnic. Tony! <laughs> oh, shit. Was the 
two, wasn't it? Oh, she got a neck brace on. They say you're gonna be fine. They just wanna keep you here for observation. What plan do you think they probably came up with? They're not gonna tell Chris about it. I don't know. At least they probably not gonna say that they would have the fucking Ooh. mother load. Oh. I don't know how to tell you, but Adriana is in the hospital. She was in an accident. Jesus Christ! What happened? Is she all right? She got banged up, but she's gonna be okay. Apparently, they swerved to avoid a deer in the road. They? Her and Tony. Tony? All right, better get over there. I don't even think nothing of it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, at least not yet. Right. What, so you're just not gonna talk? I'm just curious. Ooh, what wow. the fuck were you doing in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, in a car with my young? He was driving me home. Fucking Dover? We were talking. We were going to get something to eat. Two o'clock in the fucking morning? Don't fucking lie to me. Nothing was going on, Christopher. I should have made you walk home. <laughs> Damn. You know how this looks? Don't talk to me. Shut your mouth. <laughs> now I see what he, what, what he means as far as how it, how it looks. <laughs> or her being at it at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning with Tony. Yeah, well. Uh-oh, that's Christopher. You want her to see me? I can tell by the how the door slammed. Okay. I'd be thinking the same thing if I were you, but it's not true. I don't know what you're talking about. I was driving her home from work. That's all. In Dover. What difference does it make? She could have been paralyzed. And you got to push on? What were you doing out there alone in a car with my fiance? We were talking about you, you selfish prick. Well, you don't think this devastates me? Well, frankly, you scored so far over your head when you got her. What do you expect? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> She's a knockout. And look at you. You're average at best. Wow. Everybody knows you've been the biggest cool sound around the past four oh. or five years. Oh. You fucker catches me. Oh. Oh. On my children. There's nothing going on between me and Adriana. Oh, this is bad for business. This is bad for business. Tony walked away without a scratch. But Adriana suffered a severe blow to the head. Adriana got caught giving a big guy a blowjob. No! <laughs> you are lying. Apparently, he came all over the sun visor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> no way! When Christopher was in rehab, she was calling me all the time. I was this close. He lied. <laughs> he lied. Uh-oh. You see how you see how, how how the word spreads like wildfire? I want to hear the big joke. What are you breaking my balls for? What's so hilarious, you fucking parade float? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. Fuck all of you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. oh he threw the sandwich. <laughs> you see Ooh, the, you, he's you, heated. You see the problem with hearing things through the grapevine? Like you hear it from one person, and by the time we get to like the eighth person, the story then changed like five different ways. There's a casserole in the mic. Lying bitch! You were sucking his cock! Georgie told me everything. What are you talking about? What were you doing in Dover then? You can't tell me, because I know what you were doing. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> oh, please! You want me to use your fucking killing me? I love you! Oh, shh! <laughs> what is wrong with Christopher? Oh, he going crazy. Oh, my neck! Out of here. Oh. I never want to see you again. Wow. Tony, Tony, Tony. So that means... It's over. I went to the Belleville Tavern after work. My little cousin was in there all fucked up. Somebody told him what was going on in the car. There's nothing going on in the car. No, of course not, but he thinks there was. So he started drinking again, he beat up Adriana, and he threw out of the car. He was saying some crazy things about you. Oh, this goddamn kid. Oh, man, now you see the problem that it that distant cost. Right. Huge problem. Now I'll go to the store in the morning. All right, go whatever you want. What the hell is wrong with him? What you want is to know if I heard the disgusting shit they're saying. At least have the uh, guts to come out and ask me. It isn't true. You know what? Fuck you. I don't even want to look at you. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Woo! Man, this is bad for business. It, it, 
It's bad for family. So get and, my pizza too. I'm hungry. And it like it ain't like he can say something because she's not gonna believe him. Cause everybody know how Tony is. What what he done pulled up to? Oh, uh, shit. oh! I don't like this at all. Motherfucker! This kid ain't gonna show up, T. He's probably in some gutter. He going around on a rampage. I know you're out there, you motherfucker! You know what to do down there! Don't fucking look, I ran out of room! Everybody, enjoy the evening. Unhappy customer. <laughs> he coming up in there like that, though. Unhappy customer. Oh, man. Look at, look, at, look at Tony's face. I know. When I say this is bad for business, they took him out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we, we got to get this figured out right here. Let me the fuck go. Fucking kill all you. <clears throat> ah, draw down to the boss of a fucking family? Huh? You lied to me. You sent me to North Carolina so you could fuck my girlfriend. What kind of fucking animal you think I am? You're a man, you're alone in a car with a- You fucking pushed me to this! You pushed me to this! Way I see it, Tony, he must have known a gun with him. Tell me right now that you can take it into your heart that I did not do this shit. Well, this is as far as we go. Motherfucker. Tony, come on! Listen to somebody else for a Tony, try it my way. Listen to me! Uh, it was just wrong all the, just all the way around. It was just wrong for them to be together. Right. You know what? I might as well have fucked her. Thanks. I want to talk to you. If you came to pick him up, he's not going. Oh, so you believe all that shit they're saying, huh? Am I that horrible? Really? It is smoke, there's fire. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You think I have sexual relations with her? Adriana is going to be a member of this family? Now, I want you to answer me truthfully. I, I know I haven't been a fucking saint. You think I would go near that girl like that? <sighs> Look, I'm asking you to pull with me to put a good face on this thing. Yeah. I gotta bail you out? It is never ending your bullshit. Man. She don't even want to even be involved with none of that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Most of it's from the accident. You okay? Kicked out of my house. I may have ulcerative colitis, and you call me up. We'd like your permission to put a listening device in your business. The faster we get Tony and put him away, the sooner you can get on with your life. You're not bugging my club. Adriana, hey, you're just sitting in your own, protecting abusers. If it would have been Christopher alone in a car with a woman, I would have killed him. She gotta be careful, can't she? Can't let nobody see her. Playing a high stakes game, cause if she yes, get she, she get caught like seen with the FBI getting out of one of them unmarked cars. Arthur's sending something over. Oh, how awkward is this? Look, they part of the blame because they didn't get the story right. Right, they the ones that flipped the story. Yeah, start spreading the wrong information. He part of the problem. Nice to see you, Tom. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you. Hope you have a pleasant evening. <laughs> Look, everybody looking like, oh. Uh, this dinner tonight gonna be like pulling teeth. say this was a, a, a rather unusual episode. Yeah. Like this one took yeah, a complete yeah. turn for the worse. Everything. Everything about this like it just kind of threw you off a little bit but like yeah. why would Tony, but why would Tony do that though? Let Especially being that it's Adriana and Christopher yeah. like he, like we he's shown us multiple times like how he feels about Christopher. Mm -hmm. So for him to even have the thought in his mind about Adriana to do something like that, like 
yeah, they got into a car accident. No, they didn't make it, but you could tell where this was going to go. Very possible where, where it could have went. Yeah. Give Very it highly likely. But, I mean, that doesn't necessarily take off the, the heat off of Adriana either because she, cause she could have speculated that herself as well. She knew mm-hmm. where that was going to go. So let me ask you this. What's the moral of the episode? What's the moral of the story? Tony need to stop <laughs> thinking everything is a honey dip, okay? <laughs> Why are you fucking me like this? What the fuck are you talking about? I just spent an hour with the cops explaining how it went down. I know forget you professional criminal. I didn't take your truck. I lost my study guide, my fucking flashcards. No juice either. I told you, write it down. I'll have to go pick up whatever you want. She doesn't know the difference between fruit roll-ups and Pop-Tarts. I know, everybody's an idiot to you. A typical bachelor pad. As far as I can tell, you spend most of your time on a phone. Yeah, coming home drunk sounds like you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What the fuck did you say to me? What the fuck called me? Oh, what? What are these days? I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. What's wrong with right now? Come on! I got nothing. <laughs> the AJ said, he said, one of these days. <laughs> right. One of these days, I'm going to kick you. I hated to call you in, but I got this midterm report, and I thought maybe we could get a jump on it. Wonderful. Another crisis. Couldn't you talk to him? Tell him how hard AJ's trying? Um, nothing will make a better argument than continued effort on AJ's part. My stomach is in knots. That's why I thought it important that you come in. Though it uh, did take me about an hour to decide what to wear. Me too. Does that mean you've thought about my dinner offer? Why would you even be interested in someone like me? You're unpretentious. You say what's on your mind. It's on a big mouth. I see how that would attract a man like you. Should we grab a meal or not? There are other things to think about. My husband, for one. Your husband's going to have to get used to the idea that your life is moving on. I'm not worried about my life. (laughs) In this day and age, I don't really think your husband is going to break his son's teacher's legs. Um, She's like, uh, you just don't know. Right? Your legs and your arms could be broken (laughs) in 24 hours. Aren't you going to eat something? Janice made lasagna. It's not so great, but you need something on your stomach. Vascular physiology, neuroatomy. He made it out like it was a big gym test. Some people don't realize what massage involves. I'm practically doing two years of medical school on my own right now. One thing I learned in recovery, other people's definitions of you, sometimes they're more about making themselves feel better. You gotta define yourself. This looks delicious. Thanks for inviting me, Carm. How goes life these days? Actually, I think I met somebody. If you really want to discuss this, I think we should include Tony as well. Why? Why are you sounding hostile? I'm not. Perhaps that's your sin talking. This is none of Tony's business. But you made a commitment to each other before God. Uh, Why am I the only one held to any kind of standards? You, Obis. Yeah? I give you a harder time about my truck. Cops are fine. Two kids. Feel free to apologize anytime. You study a hard for massage, yeah? The licensing test is pretty hard. If you pass. Then what do you do with this? Be a professional masseur. You don't think of small sauna? Yeah, I can see it. Four or five tables, pipe in a little Keith Jarrett. I try to help you. Help me how? What are you talking about? I stick you the money in the storefront. My daughter, very interested in a massage. You pass tests, then you, me, my daughter, we make the big success journey. Okay? Jesus. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Why he done made like a complete oh, no. turnaround? Just like that, too. He wants to move back here. It's got to be with your full approval. This was your idea? He's upset because you don't get the kind of cereal he likes. He threw it in the sink. How am I supposed to focus at school with no breakfast? I got dizzy. 
I don't want to live in a place where people use violence against children. Violence? You're lucky I didn't put my shoe up your ass. You see? I know what my rights are. I can call social services and they'll send a caseworker. Go ahead, you'll get the other shoe. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. I think his time over there with me whipped him into shape a little. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. She ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> She, she getting good at tuning him out now. All right. Sun Yun Kim, my boss, he's going to back me on a whole storefront operation. Kareem? You're looking for money. Why not come to me? Oh, well, this is different. Self-owned business, shit's like a religion to these people. Plus, the guy sees something in me. In some ways, the whole prison thing is not that different from being an immigrant. Word to the wise. Remember Pearl Harbor. <laughs> you can't listen to another policy. <laughs> Madam Bovary, it's the first edition. Honestly, though, I don't know. The story is very slow. I think he could have said what he has to say with a lot less words. She has these extremes of boredom and exhilaration. Mm -hmm. She'll try it again. And what a wonderful thing to have in a den. You look really beautiful in this light. No, he ain't trying to make no moves in the car. Trying to be all a little Casanova and everything. I'm feeling like some teenager, which was, believe it or not. Oh. Oh, that she, she. Oh, shit. I have to tell you, I haven't been with anyone. You're a virgin? <laughs> Stop with the jokes. Oh, whoa, 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 they get a look. take so long all they have to do is spit out the results i'm only authorized to inform you that your score meets the required minimum for licensure and you passed yeah. <laughs> bless me father for i have sinned carmella i had sex with that man you sound remorseful i am i'm also confused though the truth is i have been walking around on a cloud something in me has been reawakened just knowing that feeling of passion again. I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I can't absolve you of a sin you're going to continue to commit. Yeah, I know, I know. So this man fulfills certain physical desires, but will he be there beyond the here and now? What, and you think Tony will? Carmela, you took a bow. You both did. Okay. If it feels it's good to be wrong, I don't want to be right. Right? Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking of building a row of rooms here with different themes. Asian for shiatsu, a little Danish thing for rolfing. Sounds like it's all coming together. Look, Tone, I know you're disappointed. What the fuck are you talking about? The way things turned out since I left the can, going civilian. Sex agrees with you. You look great. You're being discreet, right? Sneaking around is actually half the fun. Come on, details. <laughs> She said she want all the little juicy details. No, you know, gotta ask. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my God, is it a fetus? Oh my God. Shh. They were drug dealers? Yeah. Honey, your parole. Happy. Come on. <laughs> he better get rid of all of that. Is he crazy? They keeping the bread though. Yeah, just get rid of the drugs. Like, I'll be scared. See, that's why you can't be with me. Just think of the eyes of you walking down the street and somebody just throw a bag out of the window like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like they're having a really good time with each other. Yeah. Oh, look at that gaze out the window. Uh oh. And there could be nothing left for that cucumber in a second. Oh my God, you scared me. What are you doing here? Jesus, nice greeting. 
Hello. I was just laying here thinking about you. What are you wearing? Yes, hello, Mr. Wegler. Hi, I'm afraid now is not a good time. I made reservations at that crab place down by the shore. Dinner and a little night swimming. Right, okay, <laughs> thank you. What that fag one? Jesus Christ, Tony, everybody's a fag to you. You know, maybe you're a fag. You ever think about that? <gasps> That's some beautiful suit. I had to get it, the one with the shoes. The only thing I ever found in the street is my first wife. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you took him up on it. I thought about this all day. You know, I almost called you from the faculty parking lot. <laughs> oh, he's gonna start getting sprung now. Right, because he already called in the house too. <laughs> Bob, Bob, I, I can't right now, I'm sorry. They're moving, I'm too upset. They're moving a little fast. Stay, what are you doing? Oh, what kind of mother am I? I mean, look at us. You realize under the laws of the church, I am still married? The church? I can't do this tonight, I'm sorry. Jesus, Carmella, come on. Oh, you know that you know that's not a good that's not a good feeling. Yeah. Come over come over your house and y'all get to getting all touchy and feely, and then she just leave. Yeah, I gotta go. We'll be Okay, thanks. Oh, they got trashed. Got a second? The Soprano kid. How's he doing? Got his paper yet? Solidly below average. This is an important class, Tom. Anything less than a seat. Like my dad used to say, the world needs ditch diggers, too. Hmm. AJ Soprano's a spoiled lox, Bob. You'd be lucky to go to a trade school. Cut him a break. So what does it mean that Fredo Corleone can get a C because you asked? Is that what this is about? His background? Why, why we have teachers like that back in the day? Why, why, why have a dean like that? Where'd you go? That was fast. I took a shortcut. Ooh. 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 Of painting that ceiling? Danny, make it upstairs. <laughs> Do you think Union College is a good place for AJ? Uh, I don't know. It could be. You know, maybe you could tell them how he's a lot like you were when you were his age. That's a thought. Maybe you could bring up the fact that he has ADD. Maybe we should take a time out. What? Really? Why? I just think we should uh, not do this. I think you're a user, Carmela. What? Maybe you saw an opportunity in me and you just took what you needed. Oh, that is not true. I am here because I enjoy being with you. How could asking someone you're with for help be using them? That's what people do. Bob, this hurts. Oh, my stomach, I feel sick. You strong-armed me using the only weapon you have, your pussy. Oh. You know what, Bob? You are fucked up. Fucking idiot I am. Take it easy. Fuck you. You better watch your step. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ, it's 4 a.m. Man, that ended faster than it started. Right? It just wasn't a good idea to be with the... The principal, anyway. Yeah, the dean or whoever he is. Punch in in two hours. <sighs> he needs to stop hanging and swinging. Ever since, he, ever since he got this little bit of money. Look, look at the shoes. Are those penny loafers? <laughs> I don't know what they are. But he certainly is doing a lot, trying to stay out all night and then go to work and then come and work on this this location he's working on. Hello. Hey, hon, I'm over at your mom's. Great. What's the matter? This headache in my jaw. I gotta get back to the painting or I'll never get the fuck out of here tonight. I am so fucking sick of your gambling and complaining. I've got a headache. Hey, big entrepreneur. My friend, uh, Pac, come by, fix his toilet. Not fixed. He's got to come back with a fucking part. Oh, he could have promised. Right over here. Where's the Caldwell? West Caldwell, West Caldwell. West Caldwell. Oh. I'm over here busting my fucking ass. Whoa! Oh. Oh. You fucking oh. laundry! Oh, fucking oh. day! Fucking scam artist! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. That, that little kung fu like a waka waka. Oh, here it is back. Oh, 
I wonder how this gonna pan out. He done attacked his boss. Oh, the fish. Look at the fish. <laughs> you had a man around, you wouldn't need to call me. Yeah, right. <clears throat> You're still young, Mel. There's no reason you shouldn't move on with your life, if that's what you want. Well, there actually was somebody. And he seemed very nice. Oh, that's good. Well, he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. He made all these accusations about my character. Because I was married to a man like Tony, my motives will always be called into question. <laughs> well. Hey, sit down. <sighs> so, here's the thing. You mentioned you might need someone to run the swag airbags. Tony always eating. <laughs> Probably like seventy percent of the time. He always he somewhere eating. What happened with the massage bar? Yeah, go tell. I'm doing business with strangers. <clears throat> that went down the drain quick. Wait a minute. So, so what I'm guessing is he. He's no longer going from a civilian. He's going back from a civilian to a criminal. Do you think Tony had something to do with that? Why he had that little smirk on his face at the end? <laughs> at like as the far end. as what? I don't know. You know, he asked what happened to the massage parlor. And then and then yeah. he just kind of had this like little grin on his face. Like, you know. I, I, I think just like he said, doing business with strangers. And, and, and the owner that he was working for. You know, at the dry cleaning, he pretty much was going to make him do all the work. Yeah, he was going to front it and everything, but it seemed like he, he had to do it all by himself. Right. If they can open in three days. Up. Yeah, yeah, he showed up talking about we're going to open in three days. And yeah, especially if I've been there working day in and day out, painting, getting yeah. everything together. That guy hadn't even showed up. And you talking about business? And we've been open in three days, and it don't even look like y'all close to being ready. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's where I think that's where it just it just went down the drain, <laughs> and, and he was fed up. Not to mention he just got off the phone with his two, you know, with his with his girl or his wife, two be wife, I yeah. guess you can say, yeah. arguing and everything. So she mad. Yeah. But that's not. He was already frustrated. Well, he been careless anyway. Right now, he got that little chunk of money, and he out gambling and doing All everything, night. and this and that, and the fifth and everything, and he not going home. Hungover. So you know, he putting that stress on himself, and that's probably why it might have even worked had he just been going home and going to sleep and resting yeah. and being like, yeah, everything is good. I'm getting it all it together been. and everything. But he want to stay out all night, and then he got to go do that, yeah. and then he got to... Because he only had like two hours of sleep, so right. yeah, like you said, being tired and all of that. It still could have worked out for him, but, but, yeah. but he been, he, you know, you get some money, okay? And, and, a and, little, and a little you, taste. And then you start not acting right, and then yeah. and then there goes everything. Start calling in a little more often, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. You start can spending money. Today. Because he had got the games for the boys, and then yeah. a whole bunch of other stuff. So he was kind of like doing a little splurge and kind of get a little loosey goosey with the money. Right. You know? Right. But I, I think that's going to catch up to him any, eventually, too, because you see how bad he didn't want to go back into that. So for him to come and ask Tony about. You know, basically getting back into the game. Basically, because, yeah, yeah. I feel like he for now. I feel like he's going from a civilian now to a criminal regarding these airbags. Because if he's talking to Tony about business, it, it's probably not. It's probably not something that's that's uh, legit. No, I, I highly doubt. No, it. No, that's why I said Tony had that little smirk on his face, Bob. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering for a little quick second because Tony had that little smirk on his mm -hmm. face when he asked, but. Probably because he asked, like probably so. I knew it was just gonna be a matter of time. And, and let me ask you this question too, because you had brought it up the, the first time that she was sitting at dinner uh, with the dean, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the first time that, that you know, like you you was like, why did she go out to dinner with him, and why they got to be dressed up, and why they eating at a fancy restaurant? <laughs> did you think that they would, you know, that they would have moved this fast? No, I didn't think that they were gonna move that fast, but I feel like. Like, I kind of suspected that he was probably going to start feeling guilty that, you know, he was kind of strong-arming the teacher. Like, give him a break sort of feel, you know, because Carmela was talking to him. But really, you know, I think 
I know Carmela's intentions were pure and in, in going into this whole thing with him, but she was just concerned about AJ. Doing, yeah, by what he's doing, you know, to the other teacher, he's starting not to have a good feeling about doing something like that. But for Carmela, she's like, maybe you could just talk to him and influence him and try to because, tell him because, this but, and that. But yeah, because, he's thinking of it as in. She you're thinks, using me. Yeah, you just trying to use me to get what you want. But he doing that on his own because Carmela's not asking him to pass him. That's true. but Because all she said is, can you just talk to AJ? Yeah. Just to speak some sense into him. She didn't say, go to the teacher right. and bribe the teacher to give him a C plus rather than a D. Right. So and I feel as like a matter of fact, she told him about the paper. Mm -hmm. You know, so if that were the case, she wouldn't even never brought that up, you know? Yeah, I, I think the power of the PU... S S. I think that got that, that that started to get into his mind, and 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 since you know she came over there that night, and then she had to leave because she wasn't feeling the vibe and everything. And then he like, okay, let me, <laughs> I, need, I need to try to make this right. So he went and tried to do that. Now he feel like he being used Maybe. for the grades and stuff like that. I'm just like, man, yeah, he, he he a peon. Yeah. Cause he tripping. Yeah, he is tripping. Yeah, I feel like, and he getting his head about it too. But yeah, he I don't getting feel his head like about Carmilla's it. Doing anything? She didn't, yeah, she didn't do anything. I think he's doing that on his own, and it's and it's it's psyching him up a little bit. Yeah, and then it's affecting kind of like the relationship, and stuff yeah. To it. And they hadn't even really been talking that long, right? And already kind of running into this roadblock and stuff. Exactly. You know? Hey, y'all, it's all about boundaries. You got to create <laughs> boundaries out there. Maybe he like, oh, I got to cut ties with you because I'm already starting to act crazy. Whatever you got going on with me, yeah. it's affecting me. And he was calling the house, too, when Tony was there. Right. Not saying that she can't, but she is still married. Right. And she know that's why she went and got the firearm out of the little, out of the little thing because she like, oh, no. Okay. Tony right. find out. Yeah, oh, yeah. He might, I, I might need to get back him off of me. Right. <laughs> Because if, if Tony finds out, it's over for the, it's over in that situation. Period. Okay, we know we know what that's gonna end yeah, up yeah. like. Yeah, he gonna be he gonna be handicapped <laughs> in a wheelchair, broken legs, broken arms, neck brace on. Yeah, but we are gonna see anyway because you heard the last thing she said to him when she was about to leave up out that room. Yeah, or out out that house. That, that kind of sounded like a semi threat, right? Yeah, it did. It did. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm hey, just saying. She might want some get back because you know what I'm saying. She she gave it she gave it away to him and then and then for him to act like that like yeah yeah it might be some payback. He tripped. Might be a little a little uh, get back on that one. Yeah y'all. Okay so I don't know. Y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. Definitely. And if y'all enjoyed it, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you. I love you, and we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. You so silly.